Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the exploratory search beyond the work level session. This, this lightning round poster has been uh, prepared by Tammy Litke, Anna Lucic, and Megan Burnell. I will start with a description of the Reading Chicago Reading Project. This slide lists the project members as well as the agencies and companies that have supported the project so far. Reading Chicago Reading is a digital humanities project that takes as its starting point the popular and much imitated One City, One Book program operated by the Chicago Public Library through which one book is uh, promoted through the entire city. The project analyzes reading behavior of Chicagoans by focusing on the One Book, One Chicago program finalists and brings into relationship Chicago Public Library circulation data and demographic data about diverse Chicago communities. The next step for the project is adding text features to the uh, analysis. It is at this point that Reading Chicago Reading identified some very concrete information needs that pertain to extracting and adding text, text features to the analysis. One of those needs can be formulated as, for given works that we know author and title for, are there any, and the emphasis here is on any, English language manifestations of one book, one Chicago finalists available in the HathiTrust Extracted Features dataset. HathiTrust Extracted Features dataset allows research researchers to access in a non-consumptive -con way the volume and page level features from more than 13.7 million volumes available in the HathiTrust Digital Library. And now my colleague Tammy will take over. Thanks, Anna. So the technical services staff here at DePaul considered these information needs and proposed using a combination of OCLC and HathiTrust APIs to progress from known author and title metadata to the desired output. So consider the example of The Adventures of Augie March by Saul Bellow. Author and title information can be sent through an HTML GET request to OCLC's Classify API to retrieve OCLC work identifiers, or OWIs, for each identified work in OCLC system. Format metadata retrieved may also be taken into account programmatically to remove expressions of works in formats such as audio and video that are not relevant to the project. In this step, five OWIs are identified for the adventures of Augie March. Each identified OWI would then be sent to OCLC's Linked Data Works Entity Service to retrieve work entity metadata in RDF. Each RDF record can be processed to extract all work example URIs for an associated work. Then OCLC numbers can be extracted in turn from these work example URIs. In this example, OCLC record numbers representing 344 catalog manifestations are identified in this step. Each OCLC number then may be checked against HathiTrust BIB a API to determine if HathiTrust has one or more digital files or essentially items of that manifestation. Full metadata may be extracted for each available manifestation and available digital copies in JSON. Additional selection criteria may be taken into account programmatically at this stage, such as whether the manifestation is English language or whether it is fiction or nonfiction. For manifestations that meet additional metadata criteria, HathiTrust volume IDs for each available digital file copy could be extracted. In this example, five HathiTrust volume IDs are found. Next, the HathiTrust Feature Readers command line utility or Python functions may be used to find extracted features datasets, if available for each particular HathiTrust volume ID. In this example, two volumes of extracted feature dataset were found. And lastly, we have the example of the actual extracted features data set output. So what are our takeaways here? The complexity of this stems from the following factors. Any number of possible manifestations and or items of a work may or may not be available on the system. You'll note in our prior example that we started with small numbers of works 
move to many potential manifestations which may or may not have digital files or items, and then found an actual small number of HathiTrust digital files and an even smaller number of extracted features that were available. Furthermore, many APIs assume knowledge of item level, manifestation level, um, IDs at a starting, as a starting point for actually obtaining data. So this type of automated known work search to find or explore any available item for computational purposes is not yet very common, but we expect more requests as digital humanities and other researchers seek entire machine-readable text and text metadata for computational analysis. Tech, technical services librarians can help by using their knowledge of metadata to assist digital humanities scholars and other researchers in de determining useful API searches or calls utilizing known metadata and for retrieving additional textual metadata that may be of use. And lastly, the Reading Chicago Reading Project developers hope to make an alpha prototype program available on GitHub very soon. Thank you very much for listening. We hope you contact us with your questions, uh, suggestions, and comments.